John Innes Centre is an independent, international research institute focusing on the genetics of plants and microbes. To play our part in delivering solutions to major challenges, such as the effects of climate change on agriculture, we need to run experiments under the same conditions as breeders, farmers and food producers. Our 110 hectare experimental farm here in Borbra, just four kilometres away from the main site of the John Innes Centre, allows us to take our research from the lab into the field. We think of these fields as our outdoor laboratories, where we identify new genes for efficient use of fertilizer, improved nutritional content, and sustainable disease and pest management. The work does not stop with the crop, but also the interaction between crops and soil microbes. We have a great relationship with a wide range of institutions, companies, and individuals, collectively known as our stakeholders. And we work with them to deliver our discoveries into practical use with real world impact. Our experimental trials are customised to individual research requirements. Typically, we grow wheat, horsey drape and peas, but we can grow any crops that are suited to our climate. Experiments can be tailored by applying irrigation, adjusting fertiliser rates or plant protection products. Specialist experiments can be catered for, including the use of heated plots to simulate a warmer climate or creating a rainout shelter to give drought conditions. Our farm machinery uses GPS to accurately map and position each experimental plot. We have trial-sized combine harvesters that collect data including grain weight and moisture content. Peas are sown, maintained and harvested by hand. Drones are used to collect data for measuring key traits including height, green coverage and crop emergence. Hi, I'm Becca, one of the field technicians who helps in all stages of the field experimentation trials. Here in the Dorothy de Winton field station, we have laboratories, climate controlled seed storage, meeting room and seed processing equipment. All the harvest seed is brought back to the field station where it is cleaned, bagged and processed for further field experiments. Additional analysis can be carried out such as grain measurements or nutritional analysis. Clean seed is stored for future use by JIC researchers and other stakeholders. Hi, I'm Marina and for the last four years I have been studying the development of female reproductive organs in wheat and how they can affect hybrid seed production in the field. Having a lab allows me to carry out very detailed phenotyping of plants that are growing under real environmental conditions. In the lab, we have freezers to store samples, microscopes and other equipment that we can also use during the post-harvest, for example, seed counters. We have great field technicians who are very helpful with all aspects of carrying out experiments in the field. The challenges faced by agriculture demand a highly collaborative approach. We've always had projects that involve international partners, commercial groups and universities from around the UK. So we like to think of the field station as a national capability that can serve many groups in the UK and around the world. Thank you.